As much as I come across very minimal, I really don't care about your opinion here, Bears. The wheels are in motion. Look, what you're talking about, it just doesn't sound safe. And it's not even though it remotely complies with the provincial health order on COVID protocols. The provincial health order yes. is obsolete. When they see what we have, they're going to require this in all public buildings. You wait and see. John Wayne, you're just an anti-masker looking for an excuse. You don't believe in them. I don't even know what that means. I believe in masks. They exist. I just don't believe they do anything. Come on. Just wait until we introduce what I'm calling the COVID misting program to the Chill TV Trade Center. What? It's revolutionary. Uh, who, who was that? Elvis is in the building. Almost live from Chilliwack, it's Chilliwack Tonight. While most of you have spent your week living a life of luxury in the pandemic, our crack team of CT players have been hard at work putting together this most ridiculous full late night talk show, This Side of Hope. And now, Chilliwack Tonight. <laughs> so you realize, <sighs> don't want your co-host chair, right? Uh, that's not true. No. It is. He's, he confided in me. It, oh, it's true. God. Seriously? Yeah. God, you're so dense. You have no idea what's going on around here. No, you don't. Barris, Don and John Wayne cooked up this whole thing. They wanted us all out. First it was Jeff, then it was me. And now that Don's in the co-host chair and the audience uh, is comfortable, you're next. What? Yeah, it's true. I mean, but don't worry. The only person I want less as a co-host than you is Dawn. You know, I was very hurtful. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like none of us are just getting along. Oh, really? You think so? It's all back on you, my friend. The fish rots from the head, as the saying goes. <laughs> Everything that's gone on this since last summer has been the result of you treating people so poorly. You reap what you sow. That's not for whom the bell tolls. What? Cat got your tongue? No, no, it's not that. I, I just noticed that you speak almost exclusively in catchphrases and cliches. Oh, tomorrow's another day. Well, if it isn't my old friend, Paula DeWitt. I haven't seen you since the summertime. How you been? Well, we're in a pandemic. What do you want? No, I'm not blaming you. I'm not blaming you. It's just great to see you. Thanks for coming down. Paris, I've been watching the show. Paula, you're such a student of it. I've always really relied on you to give me insight on what's actually going on behind the scenes. Well, I was glad to do it, but again, all you need to do is actually watch the episodes. Yeah, Paula, you know, time. Time, there's never enough time. But anyway, you're not here just to scold me on not watching Chilliwack tonight. What, what can I do for you? Well, as I say, I've been watching the episodes. Quite a rocky season two you had. <laughs> Season three's been a bit topsy-turvy too, hasn't it? Okay, Paula, you didn't just call me down to criticize, right? You could have hurled insults by text. What exactly is it that I could do for you today, huh? Sorry, no bears. I wasn't criticizing. Just wanted to show you that I've been keeping up with what you're doing. Good, okay. Barris, it's been a long pandemic. I'm seeing if Chill TV might be hiring. <laughs> With the new building and all, I thought that there may be all sorts of opportunities. I see where you're going. Yeah, you know, I think the cafeteria is hiring. You mean like the cafeteria? Uh, no. I was thinking about something more like on Chilliwack tonight. Oh, Paula, I mean, come on, this isn't child's play. You can't act. Act? What are you talking about? It's a talk show. Well, Paula. I mean, let's face it, we have dramatic bits we do here. As you're full aware, there's acting. Are you kidding? Do you watch your own show? Paula, not a fair question. You know I don't. <laughs> have you seen Rachel then? <laughs> there's a lot of things going on, Chilliwack, tonight. But acting's not one of them. Rare saucer of milk table two. Okay, what is it that you exactly want from me, Paula? Barris, you know I'm a... Conductor extraordinaire. Paul, you're without peer. You got the music in ya. Barris, make me your Doc Severinsen. You're Paul Schaefer. Let's bring back the music to Chilliwack tonight. Bringing the music back? Interesting, Paula. You have my attention. Maybe we could try something for tonight's show. Chilliwack tonight! We are 
back, baby, and I'm so glad to welcome back my ravishing co-star, Rachel Caroline Plaza. <laughs> and I am glad to be back. Well, it is great to have you. How have you been keeping all these weeks? Huh. Okay, I have to let our audience in on a little secret now, uh, just to keep it real. We've been conducting a little experiment having Rachel appear as, as Pippi, the raven-haired, with a blonde wig, by way of Scotland, Swedish lass, <laughs> as my co-host for the last few weeks. Yes, and it's been a lot of fun, but great to put that wig to bed. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, but I gotta tell you, a lot of people were fooled. We received so much viewer mail. People really supporting our edition of Pippi to the cast. It was, it was remarkable. Really? Well, that's great. Yeah. I'm thrilled that so many people were so moved by my performance. Well, you should be, Rachel. Truly a tribute. You did a bang-up job on that. Okay, <laughs> let's look at the couple of letters that we have, if we can get them on the screen. Okay, yeah, sure. Let's take a peek. Okay, first letter is from Tanya. Mm. Barris, Pippi is such a breath of fresh air to Chilliwack tonight. Mm. She's the yin to your yang. Mm. Such an improvement over last season. Wow. That's mm. amazing. Wow. Pretty interesting. Uh, okay, there's one from Marcello. Yeah. That Pippi, she's hot and girl can act. Keep that Samara bit going. You guys rock. Hmm. <laughs> well, thanks, Marcello, and, and thanks for the record. Uh, Pippi didn't play Samara. That was actually Samara, the girl from the ring that is all grown up. Chill TV has her under contract throughout this season. Okay, well, some interesting feedback. Why don't we get on with the show? I've got a big surprise for you this week. I want to know what it is right now. Oh, no. Tell me. Nope. Come on. Seriously, come on. Dawn, I'm telling you, it was Elvis. Some Drew dressed like him anyway. Probably a little crazy. Look, you know, I, I think you've been drinking at lunch again, you know, one or two. <laughs> what do you mean again? When did I stop? But seriously. That's hurtful. It well, was Elvis. I wouldn't worry about it. Downtown Chilliwack is becoming quite artsy. Ever since the Rainbow Crosswalks got introduced, you know, it really hasn't been uh, the same. Come on, know. is there no security in the building? Well, we have some very big stars in here every day, right? And I include you two, Don. I, I consider you a big star. Well, I will be once I get the co-host spot. I think that's just a matter of time now. Okay, uh, Don, on that, I. Just don't want you to get your hopes up too much. What do you mean? You know well, something? What did John Wayne tell you? Tell me, I need to know. Think about it, Don. I mean, the writing's on the wall, isn't it? Something's happened here. Rachel's impersonation as Pippi leads to no consequences, and now she's my co-host? I mean, doesn't that tell you something? Well, I mean, maybe a little bit. Look, it's not like I'm being replaced, huh? So do the math. Yeah. Uh, my floor, I'll, we'll chat later. Okay, yeah, yeah see you, Don. Yeah. And stop worrying about it, okay? Elvis, what's he skulking around for? Be my, be my aeroplane. Be my, be my lost control. Well, you know I can't if I'm sitting home all alone. CT's Fashion Wars, such a great addition to the show with Helmut und Dieter. Uh, Neon vinyl slacks making such a huge comeback, I huh? I know, I'm thinking about getting a pair for myself. I love that tight fit. Well, I may just join you. We should do like a dress up episode. Do you still have that blonde wig? Oh, you bastard. What? What, what did I say? Barris, I don't really want to talk about it, okay? Why? <sighs> Rachel. We have to. It's all over the news. I bet 75% of the people tuning in right now are wondering how you're going to address it. Nope. There's really nothing here to talk about. Nothing here to address. Okay, okay. For those of you who that haven't been on social media this week, Rachel has gotten some significant blowback from her portrayal as a Swedish actress wearing the blonde wig. Remember a couple of episodes back? Now, I don't want to take sides on this. I prefer to be totally neutral. But I gotta say, I see their point. Oh my gosh, okay, you know what? I wasn't trying to imply anything by using the blonde wig. I was just portraying a character. Rachel, you know what? You don't have to convince me. It's them.
What are you doing? You're deep sixing me on air. What do you mean? It's already out there. You have to address it. No, I don't. Oh my God, I hate this cancel culture crap. No, Rachel, no. This is your mea culpa moment. You have to get it right. You can't hide from what you did. Just accept it. You wore the blonde wig insinuating all Swedes had to be blonde. You marginalized them. You did. But it was you who goaded me into it. You went on and on and on about me being a raven-haired Swede. I had no choice. Okay, Rachel, this is no time to point fingers. I'm sure there's plenty of blame to go all the way around. But right now, you're to blame. Oh God, what am I gonna do? Oh, it's easy. The apology video. An apology video? Yeah, are apology video. Are you crazy? Video. No, apology video. It's big, it's the end thing. All the kids are doing it. It's 60 seconds. You beg for forgiveness. You've seen the light. You're on drugs. You just make up something, but definitely gotta say you're sorry. Do you realize this is gonna sound terribly disingenuous? Don't worry. They've been watching you on screen for years. They're used to it. Hello, everyone. I just wanted to take a moment to make this video and come out and apologize. I realize I'm persona non grata right now. <laughs> but I just wanted to say I am sorry to my legion of fans. I see the Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook posts mocking me, and it hurts. <laughs> However, I see I've disappointed you all. But honestly, I'm not that person. I understand that my actions were wrong and all I wanted to do was gain your trust back. So wearing the, the blonde wig and mimicking a Swedish accent is not only confusing, but it's insulting. And it was done so poorly. It was downright bad. <laughs> but in my defense, I was coerced and I was bought off by Amazon gift cards by someone who shall remain nameless to keep up the charade. The whole character just went to my head. Uh, all I wanted to do was entertain. But going forward, I promise to do my best from now on. I know I've grown from this experience and will be a better person because of it. So thank you all to my supporters, <laughs> and God bless. <laughs> uh, hello there. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm on our floor. Oh, I'm, look I'm looking for Rachel. <laughs> I knew it. I knew there had to be some explanation for you skulking around our floor. Rachel's not in at the moment. I presume you've got a date or something? Maybe she owes you some money, huh? No, no, no. I'm your guest on Chilliwack tonight this week. What? You're on the show? That's a laugh? What are, you, what are you talking about? How come I don't know anything about this? Well, my name is Steve Elliott. I'm uh, performing as Elvis. Uh, tonight, a song. Seriously? Uh. I love Elvis. That is just fantastic. What song are you going to be doing? I want you, I need you, I love you. Yes, I love that song. That is my favorite. Welcome. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Chilliwack tonight. How's your dressing room? Excellent. Great so far, man. Okay, well, uh, is there anything at all that you need? Are you hungry? Can I get you a peanut butter deep fry? Peanut butter, banana, jelly sandwich, huh? Oh, no, no, that's an urban myth. But uh, actually, yes, but uh, hold the jelly. Okay, anything, anything that you need at all. Just let me know, okay? Promise. I promise. Well, uh, thank you. Well, thank you very much. I love it when you do that. <laughs> time it is. It's tomorrow, and if it's tomorrow, that must mean Chilliwack After Hours. So you've seen her on the cover of magazines, or the inside of the magazine with the staples, and you've seen her dominating TV screens for the last three decades. And of course, the assistant to the co-host on Chilliwack tonight. And as a very personal friend, she contacted me to address some uh, controversy that emerged on social media about her impersonating a Swedish person on Chilliwack tonight. She is, of course, Rachel Caroline Plaza. Rach, hey, welcome to tomorrow. Chilliwack after hours. Oh, thanks, Melvin. Thank you for having You're me. Welcome. You have been a true friend. I know. 
I don't think it's been three decades though, so let's just get that straight. And I'm the co-host of the show. There is no assistant in the title. Uh, no, no, it's been three decades. Our research department is pretty thorough. So, uh, hey, Kit, how you feeling? Uh, you know, I'm actually good. Really good, all things considered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get right into it. You impersonated a Swedish person on several episodes of Chilliwack tonight this season. Now, I think a lot of us were uh, a little surprised by that. Oh, uh, you know what? We were just experimenting on the show, you know, trying different ideas. We don't want to be a traditional late night talk yeah. show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got that. Uh, now the accent. Maybe not exactly Swedish, uh, vague tones of a Baltic region Slavic, if I had to guess. No, uh, I don't think so. We did a lot of research. It was an Uppsala dialect. We were definitely for Swedish. Okay, let's uh, put a pin in that for the moment. Not really the issue that's blowing up right now. Your choice of stigmatizing Swedish people by wearing that wig, though. I mean, wow. wow I mean, uh, your comments. Come on. No, look. Well, it was definitely coming from a pure place, a mm. good place in my heart. As an actor, I was just playing a character, so I wanted to come off as a authentic as possible. Uh, yeah, and by putting on that wig, you're in effect saying, hey, all Swedes are blonde, right? Uh, you understand that. An entire nation of people. <laughs> you're saying that by having black hair, you wouldn't have come across authentically with black hair? No, not really. Yeah, but that's exactly what you said. Uh, now let's talk about your Mia Culpa, the video, some amazing blowback on that. <sighs> well, uh, you know, just let me read uh, a few quotes from social media. Um, that girl, Rachel, she's got to go, blonde. Uh, the other one is, lives matter, bitch. And I used to love Rachel until she expressed an implied bias against the great Nordic country of Sweden. That just doesn't wash. Uh, pretty hurtful stuff, Rachel. Oh. So your reaction? No, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm really sorry. It won't ever happen again. Well, there you go. A genuine apology. Rachel, sometimes you got to hit rock bottom before you restart your ascent to the top. And uh, there's nowhere but up from here. So, uh, look, it's no longer tomorrow. It's today, which means we're out of time. We got to get out of here. So we will see you next time on Chilliwack After Hours. Chilliwack Tonight, we'll be right back. Elvis. Huh. You didn't yeah. tell me you booked Elvis. That's oh, yeah. You like? Fabulous. Yes. Yeah, I know. A friend of mine thought, you know, we could use a little bit of extra help boosting the ratings since they've been sagging. I'm sure you're keenly aware of that one. Well, I, I do love the initiative, but I gotta disagree with you on the saggy ratings. They're they're perfectly fine. They're just a little soft. We're right now. We're in a sophomore slump, you know, season three, but people are taking a bit of a breather. It'll be fine. Okay, well, whatever don't you want to call it, I don't care. That's fine. Well, it was a fantastic idea. I love Elvis, and Steve Elliott seems like a great guy. Mm. Just so professional, just like Paula. Paula? Yeah, Paula DeWitt. I, I told you, uh, I think she, she just joined the cast. What? No. You never told me that. I think no, I did. No, I don't want another woman. I'm the only woman Pretty on sure the show. I told you. Well, I don't even know what that means. No other females? Are you kidding? Like, oh. how can that be? Only you? Yes, it's in my contract, Barris. Okay, it is not. There's no way it's okay. not in your contract. Then we'll get John Wayne to put it in my contract. Okay, whatever. We'll talk about it later. We're just about to start the next segment. Get ready. Okay. And now, please enjoy Steve Elvis Elliott with I Want You, I Need You, I Love You. Oh, hold me close, hold me tight Make me thrill with the light Let me know where I stand from the start I want you, I need you, I love you With all my heart Every time that you're near All my cares disappear Darling, you're all the time living for I want you, I need you, I love you More and more Well, I thought I could live without romance Until you came to me but now I know that I, I will go on loving you eternally. Won't you 
please be my own Never leave me alone Cause I die every time we're apart I want you, I need you, I love you With all my heart Where he laughed I could live without romance Until you came to me But now I know That I, I will go on Loving you eternally Won't you please be my own Never leave me alone Cause I die every time Report. I want you, I need you, I love you With all my heart You pass the audition. Well, thank you very much, sir. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. Chilliwack tonight. Okay, you're here. What is it then? Well, Douglas, you have a truly beautiful home. I, I just never would have guessed. How is it that what I can only presume is supposed to be a compliment comes out as an insult? Oh, <laughs> yeah, and I just wanted to also say I'm really thankful that you'll see me on a Saturday. I know it's a bit uh, unusual. I just couldn't sleep last night. Thank you. I'm not an actual doctor, as you're fully aware, Only so too fully. I can't prescribe sleeping medication. But there are some over-the-counter products that contain valerian root that will render you completely unconscious. Okay, um, Doug, you know, it's not that I need a sleeping aid per se, I just need to talk something out with you. It's about work, the show. Something is going on and I'm completely askew. I'm just not understanding a situation and I just wanted to bounce some thoughts off of you to see if I'm crazy or, or whether I'm onto something. I think you're taking some liberties here with the range of duties I'm tasked to perform in my role as your anger management therapist. This conversation seems a little outside the job outline. Okay, well, thank you, Douglas. You're right. It's a little outside your job description, but you know, oh, I notice how early it is, 7 a.m. Uh, I'm sorry to get here so early. Do you have any coffee? Let's maybe Barris, get the juice In about flowing. five minutes, I'm going to climb back into bed and continue my sleep in. Okay. Let's just get to it. Yeah, yeah. What is the issue? Okay, Please. Okay. Right, right, right. I'll, I'll cut to the chase. I've been playing this over and over in my mind. Rachel and Jeff, poses and posters, right? Pippi mm -hmm. and John claude mm -hmm. They're on a couple of episodes at the top of the season, and they blow their cover and Jeff flees, but Rachel stays to face the music, but there's no music, there's nothing. Instead, Rachel suddenly gets the coveted co-host spot that she was fired from just last season. Isn't that odd? That was certainly odd, uh, yeah. Odd. Yes, Douglas, indeed it was odd. Why would John Wayne, who fires the both of them on the Christmas episode, rehire Rachel? And just Rachel, for that matter, huh? Huh? Okay, I don't know either. Unless she's got some sort of a hold on him, some sort of a sway. You know, maybe she's hypnotized him or something. Huh? <sighs> or maybe she's just slept with him. <laughs> right. Get serious, Douglas. Maybe she has something on him, though. I bet she's blackmailing him or something. You know that medical device you Man sold to the US market? She's sleeping with him, she told me. Thanks for watching Chilliwack Tonight.